In this video, let's talk about how you can use navigation in the iPhone. So let's tackle this issue. Keep in mind that the iPhone is not an Android. Usually people who are switching to iPhones kind of look for this topic. And usually the issue is that on the iPhone, you don't have any like back button. So this is the first thing which I want to cover. A lot of people get confused by that. So since you don't have the back button, what you need to do is whenever you get inside somewhere like that, you can see that I can go deeper within the settings, but the back button really just shows up in the top left corner like that. So you can see, you can always just find it somewhere in the left portion of the screen, usually in the top or bottom corner like that. And you can always just return back. You can keep on clicking and this is how you can essentially navigate the iPhone, even though you don't have the back button. Keep in mind that outside of that, there is the option to simply grab the left edge of the display like that and essentially swipe towards the right. And you essentially just go back the same way as if you click the button, right? So I don't have to click the button to go back to the main settings page. I can just grab the left portion of the display and simply just like move one layer below. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, obviously to leave the app, you grab the bar at the bottom, which is also very useful and is like absolutely crucial for navigation around the iPhones because you can just grab it from the bottom like that and essentially return back to the home screen. This of course is replacing the home button. So whenever you are inside of any app, you can just grab the little bar at the bottom like that and you can leave the application. Keep in mind that whenever you are inside of the app, you can also just drag your finger around it like horizontally across the bar and you can move to the previously used app like that and you can move in between the apps as well. So it's actually simple that way too. Keep in mind that you can also just grab it like that and essentially just hold it down until you see more icons like that. Now you can lift your finger and we are inside of the multitasking panel where you can switch in between the application. So uh, yes, you can swipe up on the apps like that to close them. And this is like the main way how you can navigate and move around the iPhone. Of course, you have the control center when you swipe down from the top right corner and the notifications bar when you swipe down from the middle. But that's essentially it. Let me know below in the comments if you have something very specific that you would like to get covered. Chances are that I have already a video about that somewhere on my channel. And if not, it's very likely I'm going to make an updated video. So go ahead and let me know. Thanks a lot for watching and I'm going to catch you in the future uploads in the future.